happy monday i hope you had a fabulous monday i did um it's like well maybe not now but it was 65 and super sunny so um what could make for a better monday <laughs> nothing well okay we won't go there anyway uh, <laughs> so it's been a while i was a little a little mia last week things got a little crazy i mean i was here but not as often as i'd like to be but anyway um yeah, it was a crazy week, and it's starting to, thankfully, mellow out a little bit. Um, we're still house hunting. That's still a little cray. I am currently looking at a giant pile of boxes and bubble wrap because <laughs> we're going to start packing eventually. But anyway, uh, yeah, so tonight I wanted to chat with y'all. Hey, I can't see your name, but I see that you said hello. So hello. Um either way hello hello and so i wanted to chat tonight about um what i was actually talking about in my facebook group the heart-centered and intentional horsewomen um today i don't even know maybe i haven't spoke about it yet because i wrote all of the posts but um we're kind of talking about this one thing that most people don't consider and i know that i didn't really until Someone else told me about it, about our emotional health. So um, if you've heard me talk before, you know about my Facebook group that I just mentioned. I'm doing an adventure in there because um, it's a journey, right? Where we're moving from a place in our lives where we have these outbursts. We are not very emotionally peaceful. Um, I myself struggled with some rage issues and um, just kind of walked this path alone. And now that I've done it, I want to help other people experience the same thing I have, which is um, <laughs> really just walking away from outbursts and, and really feeling more peaceful and in control of my emotions and really just more balanced and awesome. <laughs> I can function a lot better, that's for sure. Anyways, in this um, adventure, we were talking about genetics. And, you know, sometimes you look through a family and you see that you know, this family has a lot of rage issues or they have addiction issues that come up over and over and over throughout the generations. And what I think is really interesting is that not only can we genetically inherit and pass along physical ailments like diabetes and predispositions to breast cancer and things like that, uh, but you can actually inherit emotions from your ancestors. Now, this is good and bad, right? Because some of our ancestors were pretty badass and uh, had to deal with a lot of really hard things and they survived, right? So you're getting a lot of really good stuff from your ancestors, but sometimes our ancestors have gone through untold trauma. You know, if you've got Holocaust victims and survivors in your ancestry, you are probably going to inherit some serious, seriously heavy, tough emotions, big emotions. Um, and I, yeah, so I, that's the one thing that people just don't usually consider because it's like, what? What? Because emotions are so fleeting to us or they appear to be that it's hard to imagine that they actually do get stuck in your body. They actually do affect your physical health. They, they take on such like way more of a toll than we give them credit for. Like, you know, we experience them for a few minutes and then we set them aside. And especially as someone myself who didn't process them as I felt them because I wouldn't feel them, I would stuff them down, shut them out. That's actually a great way to make sure that you, they stay with you. So if you do that, you need to jump into my group. <laughs> you need to jump in and get this, on this adventure. Um, because what I've learned as being a previous emotion stuffer uh, <laughs> is that actually it turns out it's worth feeling the crappy emotions for the short period of time to experience the good ones way, like way more intense. Like once you open yourself up to the negative emotions enough to feel them, process them and accept them, the good ones are like way better. Just saying, just throwing it out there. Anyways, so that's kind of what we're talking about right now. Um, 
in my group and on my adventure, because one of the things that I've actually found is the emotion code, which really allowed me to clear some of my own personal generational inherited, inherited, inherited emotions, um, clear them for myself. And here's the cool part. Once I clear them for myself, I'm also clearing them from my daughters and my future children and their future children and whoever it came from in the past, it's, it's released energetically from them as well. So it's, it's really awesome. And the really cool thing about that is let's take it a step farther because y'all know I'm a crazy animal person. Um, yeah, your animals come with this too. This isn't just a human thing. Every animal, this is something that is genetically passed down is, um, inherited through generations is emotions just as much as all of this physical stuff. So if your horses, come from a tragic, traumatic ancestry line, um, they are just as likely to pick up some of that stuff and still keep it to this day. Uh, which I think, in my opinion, also, this is totally just opinionated. This is not fact what I'm about to speak. Um, I think that that makes a lot of sense when you look at a breed and how a certain breed may have a predisposition to a set of behaviors. Because... Um, Especially when you're looking at like, oh, this breed is just so flighty and anxious and spooked and well, it's a whole breed and the breed starts somewhere, right? So anyways, that's my two cents on that. Um, yeah. So just in case you are interested, you can jump into my Facebook group. The link is in the bio. Um, if you are watching this on Facebook or YouTube, the link is actually also in the description. And uh, that's about it. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Just a little, little, little bivet for you. And if you go to my website, margaretparsons.com, you can actually find more information about the emotion code um, because that is something that I started practicing as well. So I'm an, a certified emotion code practitioner specifically because it had so much power and impact in my life. So that's just a little something. If you want to go check that out, you are more than welcome. Otherwise, I will talk to y'all later tomorrow because it's getting late and I got other other peeps to talk to you tonight. So it also, just in case, because I'm headed there right now, if you haven't heard, I'm doing a, um, I'm joining up with a friend and we're doing a become your body's best friend um, transformation because there's a lot of emotions that go into in, like liking your body, liking the person that looks back at you and being a healthy person. So if that's something you're interested in, I'm going to go ahead and pop that link in the description of the video as well um, for you on Instagram. Y'all, you know, you can find it in my bio because it's that awesome. But anyways, that's it. You guys are awesome. I will catch you uh, tomorrow. All right. Have a good night, guys.